for years, international demand for shark fins and lack of management drove shark populations to the brink. But that all began to change in 2013, when parties to the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, or CITES, voted to regulate commercially traded sharks for the first time. It marked a turning point for sharks. And this dynamic has been maintained in 2016, at the last COP of the CITES, we have yet to inscribe other new species of requins. There seems to be a growing uh, interest in using CITES to safeguard the marine resources in these countries, and that was met with a huge support by the rest of the world. As of 2018, 20 species of commonly traded sharks and rays have been listed on CITES Appendix 2, which means trade in these species must be sustainable and traceable. Around the world, governments are taking care of their sharks because they realize how critical they are. The tiburones are essential Half of sharks and their relatives are threatened or near threatened with extinction, and as many as 273 million sharks are killed in commercial fisheries each year. Sharks are late to mature and produce few offspring, so the impact is significant. If we keep going as, as the exploitation rate that we go in, we're not going to have uh, more sharks in the next uh, 40 to 50 years. But governments and officials all over the world are doing their part to ensure this doesn't happen. We're seeing an incredible amount of momentum building, not only domestically but also internationally. And we're making great progress with the CITES and CMS listings. We're now getting to the, to the, in, the nitty gritty, the, the details of implementing these measures on the ground. This fin identification training is happening at one of the many global shark implementation workshops that are key to ensuring CITES-listed species don't end up in illegal trade. From Dominican Republic to Senegal to Sri Lanka and all over the world, parties are taking CITES listings seriously and using the tools to enforce CITES regulations at home. This atelier is uh, very important. It will help uh, enormously les agents de contrôle principalement. We can implement these CITES listening uh, species and also their recommendations at the ground level. Como tal, nos sumamos a, a este esfuerzo que hacen porque además de proponerlas, tenemos que hacer acciones para implementar estas medidas. The implementation is 100% possible. And it's possible because of the unprecedented scale of implementation efforts by CITES parties. But with only 17% of the shark trade regulated, more needs to be done to ensure their survival. We would like to see more sharks to be included in the CITES appendix. We need to fight for their survival. Shark conservation is finally a topic that people are positive about, and we hope to see this continue into the future until sharks are sustainably managed. The experience is that is that there is a conservation, that the species can be conserved, that they can be maintained, and that we can talk about it for decades that the species exists, that it is not a species extinct. We have only the present with us. Since 1996, the future is something we actually don't know. The future is something we actually take on loan from our children. If we can conserve and preserve this species, we will be able to hand over a system, ecosystem that is vibrant, active, and that is in, in a functioning, you know, functioning ecosystem to our future generation. 